I'm a professional prop firm day trader, and I can tell you that if you don't understand structure, you're going to fail. In this space, we have a ton of people teaching a ton of ways to map market structure, and it can be really confusing. So in this video, I'm gonna break down step-by-step step how I map my structure and how it's different from the way other people map their structure. Let's go ahead and get into it. What's up everybody, and I hope you guys are doing good. Today I wanna to share with you something that completely changed the way that I look at market structure. And if I hadn't figured this out, I would have continuously just been making simple errors and had no idea why I was making them. So the gist of what we're gonna get into today, we can sum up in three main points. And that is that using candle closed or wicks alone is just simply less consistent. We're also gonna talk about the difference between basic market structure and institutional structure. And last but not least, we're gonna go over how to properly map structure. So why is it less consistent to use candle closes or wicks? You know, I know a lot of different smart money concepts or supply and demand trading courses or trading teachers are gonna teach you that there are only two ways to map structure, and that is by using a candle bodies or wicks. For a quick example, we see right here that price took out a high and closed above it. So some people would require a closure like that for a break of structure, and then people who use wicks where we see a push down under this low, you know, that would be a break of structure for them. While these structure mapping strategies may work, we're gonna take one simple part and it's gonna change everything. So one of the big reasons that I think it's less consistent to use closes or wicks alone is it, you know, it really hampers your ability to understand the market from a practical level. Because if you're very robotic and every time you get a candle closure or every time you get a wick um, pushing past structure, I promise you, you might be successful but you're gonna be less consistent than if you were really looking at the market in a, you know, what is going on and why is it happening? You have to look at it from that perspective to be consistent. For instance, you might have a fair value gap or an order block. For those of you who don't trade smart money, think of resistance. And let's say you have price pushing up to it and price reaches your zone, right? And we have this consolidation here and price pushes up, right? You may look at that as a break of structure because, you know, oh, hey, I got a candle close. Or if it was a wick, hey, you got a wick. And then price is gonna go down. Now, while the bias is bearish here, let's just say you got a big push under this level and it was a, a massive wick. And then price moves up and you're sitting there, you know, you're gonna trade from your order block right here. And you're wondering, you know, when price gets there, what's going on? Why is my trade not working? And then it goes up and takes you out, right? How did this happen? I use market structure, I used a POI, you know, the market's rigged. Now, the problem is you're not using displacement. So the market keeps going, you know, it's making higher highs. Now you're guessing yourself because structure saying, oh, well, we're closing above old highs. You know, maybe I should long, maybe this is a bad POI. And none of these are big pushes. They're just, they're meeting your rules. They're closing above it or they're getting wicks above it. Now, as a smart trader, our ideology is to trade with the big players in the market. So when a big player enters the market, what happens? A big move. So when we get a big push down, this kind of energetic action, that's what we call displacement, and we take out a low. Now, everything all leading up to this is just manipulation. It's just engineering liquidity. This is how a lot of you guys end up being, this is how a lot of smart money concepts traders end up being liquidity. It's kind of ironic, but it happens all the time. So in this example, we're gonna be just looking at this leg in price because that is where the meat on the bone is. That is where big money got involved. Oftentimes, you're gonna see the, the push up into a level taking out an old high and then a sharp move down. That's because price is moving up where all of these people trying to trade every single break of structure have put their stop loss and now they've became liquidity. So understanding the market from a practical level of what is going on, you know, have the stops been taken? Is there displacement? That's gonna keep you looking at high probability setups that are institutionally sponsored. So that leads us right into our next topic, which is basic structure versus institutional structure. So we already went over this really, the basic structure is just simple, you know, robotic. Okay, if I get a higher high, then I, you know, look at that as bullish. Or if I get a lower low, I look at it as bearish. Whenever you're looking at the move and you have these big moves, now you've got displacement taking out all these highs. This leg in price is what you want to focus on. That's why you have to incorporate displacement. You know, institutional structure is institutional structure is heavily reliant on displacement. So the difference is basic structure is just using wicks or closes and it, it may work, but I promise you're gonna have hiccups and those hiccups then translate into psychological errors and it's a butterfly effect. I mean, trust me, I've been through it. I promise you using displacement is going to trim down the amount of setups that you look at. It's gonna cut it in half. And you know, as a trader, it's all about refining our edge 
and finding those high quality setups because not every single day you're going to get a perfect setup but if you are you know requiring a high value setup i promise you you're going to get funded quicker you're going to be profitable quicker your psychology is going to start to come together and you're going to build that confidence because you're not putting yourself in those situations where you're destined to fail trying to trade every single break of structure i mean come on it's just not going to happen so again institutional structure can be defined by one word and that is displacement you know we have to look if we are anticipating that a big player is in the market we're going to have a big move you know if we're trying to trade smart money and we want to trade with the smart money we need displacement without that you have nothing at all you just have a bunch of lines on your chart and that's why smart money concept isn't working for you Another benefit about understanding displacement is if you don't have it, the market's going to reverse. So let's go ahead and look at some live examples. So let's go ahead and look at ES over the last couple of weeks. So if we see this push right here, does that look like it really displaced under that low? Here's where a lot of people get confused because this big move down, I could see how that would be looked at as displacement. You want to see what happens under the low. Do we stay under the low for long? Do we continuously push and respect bearish order flow? Or do we spring right back up? So if we spring right back up, that is an indication that smart money is buying and absorbing those stop losses. So if we have a fail to displace, so if we fail to displace, we can look for higher highs. Now, this is what a lot of people get burned up in because they're just so, you know, watching the market, it went down, we went to the fair value gap, and they're just shorting, 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 and boom, liquidated. And not only did they make take a loss that was unnecessary just because they're using candle closes, then they failed to capitalize off the real move. And here's the market displacing up. And now the market has shown bullish desire. So here we see displacement. Now this is what we wanna pay attention to, the displacement leg that took structure, right? So when we come back down, we're looking for internal liquidity at a discount. Price comes down, taps into that liquidity, and runs off to the races. And we continuously see this. Displacement, price comes down, discount, off to the races. And that it's that simple. Adding displacement to your market structure mapping is going to change the way you trade. You're going to take less trades, but I promise they're going to be much higher quality and you're going to have a lot more confidence in them. I want you guys to go to my Twitter. It's down in the bio and tweet me with pictures that you deem as displacement. That way I can help you and yeah. tell you whether or not it's going to work. Also, if this helped you, please subscribe. It helps me a ton. I always yeah. forget to ask that, but I'm, I'm getting better. So how do we properly map structure? Again, we went over it a lot in the examples, but you want to ask yourself a couple key questions. Was smart money involved in this move, aka was there an energetic push, right? If we have a, you know, market structure is doing this, we barely come up, oh, well, it closed above it, but was it really a big push? Did this look like something that a market maker caused? No. So we're going to come down, take out all these lows, and then the market gives a big push. Does this look like something a market maker caused? After liquidity was taken, it's a big push. Yeah, 100%. You have to be practical. You can't be so robotic in these markets because they are a living, breathing thing. Another thing you need to ask is why would price be doing this? So this is really going to go hand in hand with your daily bias. I just released that video earlier this week and I'm going to link it up at the top of the video. So if you don't understand daily bias, I highly recommend to go watch that. Now, the most important thing that I can stress to you guys is displacement is your best friend. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you want access to the private Discord, use code CASPER, all caps, to start your free trial. That's where I provide my trade signals, teach my private classes, and you have access to one of the best trading communities out there. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my content. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to hit me up on any of my social medias. They are all down in the description with the link to Playbit. Have a great day. And remember, if you can't see the liquidity, then you are the liquidity.